Well, I think Laugh-In was a breakthrough in a number of respects. First of all, <clears throat> it had the zaniness of Hell's a Poppin. It told topical jokes throughout the program. It um, put things on that had standards and practices constantly coming to my office. And we had a marvelous man who had a marvelous name, Herminio Traviasis. He was head of the standards office, and he would come into the office and say, we can't put this down. There were these, a meeting once a week with George Slaughter about why he couldn't say something. And some of the things they, they said, I'm telling you, they were really slipping by on us. I mean, George explained to me later, I think when the show, that Sakatumi really had a, uh, a vulgar provenance. But there you had uh, Richard Nixon saying Saka to me and everybody else saying Saka to me. But there were other things that were peculiar to the time that they would slip in. So we always had that problem. But George did one other thing, which I don't think had ever been done in television quite the same way. Videotape was being used quite wise, widely. But what he did was he would put together a show using videotape. And you'd see Goldie Hawn dancing in a bikini with legends written on her tummy, and then the next scene you'd see her fully dressed. So he, the cuts were fast, the, the cuts were quick. It could be a lousy joke that would go by, but it would go by so fast. And then he created various characters, Artie Johnson, uh, very interesting, Ruth Buzzy with the handbag, and uh, all those characters who went on to other things. Uh, so it was, it was unique in creating uh, the people who went on from it until uh, Saturday Night Live came along, which of course we can talk about later, which created uh, more stars than anything I think in the history of television. 